Uh, all right, let's do this. Oh, oh, a 3M Can 95. So cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm excited about that. Dude, that's awesome. Wow, a 3M Can 95. This is so cool. Okay, I'm excited. Let's get into this. See, look at that. Legit Can 95. You got the manufacturer. Let me open this guy up. Oh, look at 3M. They, they are really good at what they do. Look at that. You've got a nice little tear. Ah, it's like angels singing. So easy to open. It's awesome. So they're putting an exterior nose wire on. Oh my gosh. This is freaking legit. And 3M is so good at manufacturing. I just wish they wanted to manufacture in the United States without being bribed by our government. <laughs> Basically, the only way 3M is going to manufacture stuff here anymore because they're slaves to the market, in my opinion, is if the United States government pays them a bounty, which they did. They got like $160 million or something from the government to stand up some manufacturing here. And even then, they're bringing in Chinese parts, which have been manufactured in China and putting them together here. It's like, I just believe there should be some supply chain resiliency. But wow, is it a great mask. All right. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the N95 test on this KN95 mask, which is very, very similar. This is the 3M 9242, which is just so cool. Um, you can see right on the label, this is, this is what I'm talking about. They got the manufacturer name, they have the model number, uh, it says GB2626-2019. Um, they've got all the requirements for KN95 there. And then I'm actually going to show you, this is a mask made for China, because they would, they would just make a, a they would just make a uh, N95 in the United States, which is why I've never seen one before. Look at that. They've imprinted 3M there. It's a very thick mask, very high quality. Um, and then they've got it even in Chinese on this side. They also invent a lot of uh, uh, applications. So this nose foam is going to be really good. And this nose wire is really insane, even though if you look at the design there, it's not exactly like the coolest design. So this is a, they're, they're actually, this could probably pass the N95 test because it's not an ear loop. It's a head strap. The KN95 can be a head strap or ear loop. It doesn't define it. Although pretty much every KN95 I've seen is an ear loop design. This fit is amazing. And it's the head straps that are giving me a great seal around here. And the nose wire is such a good fit. I'm gonna call this mask smell. 3M must have lost their glue. Because the thing I hate about 3M masks is they smell this horrendous like glue smell. I always feel like I'm getting high anytime I'm smelling it, and not in a good way. Um, I want to be intentional if I'm getting high, you know, not like accidentally. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Uh, but um, this has almost no smell. This is the best smelling uh, 3M mask I've ever seen. But does that matter if it doesn't protect you? You guys probably already cheated and see. Let's see. Look at that. 99.92, 99.92, 167.6 pascals. Let's do the ear loop test or the head strap test. I think it's gonna freaking kill it. Oh yeah, that's great. Actually, I don't wanna bust that one up because we're gonna take a picture of it. I'll bust this one up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's gonna literally leave a mark, but I'm gonna commit to this. That was not as bad. Oh man, that's hilarious. Great mask, super excited. Thank you, uh, Vasilis, for uh, sharing that with us. That is so cool, I've never seen it before. And it's awesome to add to our database.